a very experienced yeah, it was a um, very tough game and uh, we're an awkward angle so I was getting caught by selling shots every now and again when um, and switching off when I should have been switched on so yeah, it, was, it was very tough and very game but um, I started breaking him down I know he didn't like the body shots so and that's what I did at the end so there you go he did with the body shots E King fight news um, congratulations to Josh Taylor. In my opinion, he had the fight of the night. Uh, best performance by far compared to any of the other fights last night. Josh Taylor with the body shot looked excellent. He looked very, very good. Let's hear what Eddie Hearn has to say about Josh Taylor. Let's hear what Eddie Hearn has to say here. Um, this is Barry McGuigan. No, let's hear what Eddie Hearn has to say. He, he's the main guy. And let's look at the picture here. We got the super lightweight, Terrence Crawford, undefeated. He's moving up to welterweight. The IBF, Sergey Lipnitz, has uh, captured that title. Recently, WBO's vacant and Anthony Yigit of Sweden, 21 fights, unbeaten, European champion. Who will Josh Taylor select here? Uh, it comes down to Yigit and Lipnitz. And Josh Taylor preferred Yigit to go over and get that European title before going world level. Um, it doesn't matter who, well, when it comes, I know I'm ready for the opportunity when it comes. Um, I think next up, but potentially like the Anthony Yigit fight for the European title before I step up for the world title, um, I think it'll be a great belt to fight for. It's also quite important to point out the fact that Terence Crawford has oh, the titles now it went up to 147, so I, personally I think Josh is probably the best 140 pound fighter in the world now. I know a lot of people might disagree with that, but I actually think that's the case. Yeah. Is it easier with a vacant belt for you to get a f*** these days? Unbelievable. What a fight this turned out to be. Do not go anywhere. We will pick it up.